Hi, my name is Jason from Sow the Land, and in today's video, I am actually at my friend's Justin Rhodes homestead. Well, actually, it's more than a homestead. Justin and Rebecca, this is the same uh, place where I built our greenhouse. I think it's an, the next step of homesteading. You know, this is a farm. You know, it's the next step plus two more steps above homesteading. You know, I'm talking about like bigger animals. I don't know if I will ever get to that level of homesteading, but I am incredibly inspired by people who are at that level. It will, it helps me to like, okay, if they're doing it, I could do it, you know? So I'm incredibly inspired by Justin and Rebecca in um, their awesome homestead. But today, today I'm building a, a carport, <laughs> a carport shelter. So yeah, just a regular car shelter. And the idea for this is Justin is building, he wants to build a pig shelter. And then later on I'll talk to you guys about why we are converting a car shelter into a pig shelter. I have 366 screws <laughs> that are going into the shelter. All right, so now that the carport's done, we need to actually modify it to house uh, pigs. Uh, well, half of it's gonna be pig structure, the other half is gonna be uh, some storage or maybe even a chicken coop. Try not to be too fancy about it. I'm all done with the carport slash pig pen. <laughs> so this is gonna house it's gonna house Justin's uh, pigs, and uh, he doesn't he doesn't need to do this, 
I mean, he has a forest and uh, he could run the pigs on pasture or in the forest. He's doing this uh, to help people like me, <laughs> to help people that don't have acres and acres of land. Um, I'm on one and a half acres. This setup right here is something that I would consider. And uh, the more I talk to him about it, uh, the more I get fired up about it, <laughs> the more excited I am about it, actually. Um, you know, we only have chickens. And so, uh, you know, I'm always thinking about what's the next animal, you know, what's the, what's the homesteading progression, you know. And I, I think it's chickens and then pigs. You know, and then you gradually move up to the larger animals. Something like this, I think, would be uh, more ideal for our situation uh, because we don't have a lot of property. I don't have a forest. <laughs> don't really have a huge pasture. And I don't want them digging up our yard as much. Um, so this is a carport turned into a house for the pigs. And so we've made it pretty... Um, minimal and, and portable uh, in case he wanted to move this entire thing to a different location it can be done uh, we used zip ties to tie in the kettle panel and it's pretty sturdy you know we put in these posts and we'll probably put more posts on the other side this is a door now this is more of just like an access door so they could come in and maybe feed the pigs or hop over if they needed to but they don't, I don't think they really need to go inside there. And then also they plan on bringing in some wood chips. And so it was important that we made, uh, especially this wall, portable. Where they can move it in and out. And same thing for this wall here. Uh, we could just untie the zip ties, move the wall, bring in some wood chips, and uh, call it a day. But uh, yeah, pretty simple. It took me pretty much two two days to do and uh, I will leave a, a link down in the show notes where you could see more of this and he could and he will talk more about what this structure is going to do and yes uh, my dream of building a pig shelter from a carport just came true <laughs> I'm not being sarcastic that that was a dream of mine <laughs> much like the greenhouse <laughs> much like raising pastured poultry <laughs> uh, turning in uh, turning a carport into a pig shelter dreams come true people dreams come true <laughs>